Arsenio Hall gets how fans revere 1988's Coming to America. The gregarious host of the 90s staple, The Arsenio Hall Show, jumps into one explanatory story in which he and Eddie Murphy, Zamunda's Prince Akeem and his loyal servant, Semi, made a royal visit to their local Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf just after announcing their Coming to America sequel, streaming Friday on Amazon Prime. As we're leaving, this guy says, I heard you're doing a sequel. Don't expletive it up, Hall says over Zoom, showing the impossibly youthful smile that beamed into America's homes. What is that about? It's like, let us do the movie. It didn't bother Eddie, but it kind of scared me. People are so invested. Like the movie is important to them. Just as Akeem and Semi were told in the original film that it was foolhardy to leave Zamunda for Queens to seek a suitable life partner, the duo had been advised against revisiting the movie three decades later. The Zamunda set sequel brings Murphy, 59, and Hall, 65, back in a variety of now iconic roles. It was not an easy choice. Murphy was fine letting leaving the movie untouched. But longtime friend Murphy, Hall as godfather to the comedian's oldest daughter, Bria, started thinking about a second movie four years ago, throwing ideas out. Some were keepers, Akeem has an unknown son in Queens, some needed work, casting Tracy Morgan, 52, as the son. I'm like, Tracy is a genius. But Eddie, you and Tracy look the same age. He can't be your kid in Queens, Hall says with a laugh. So he thought about it and decided to make him the uncle. During a screening of his 2019 comedy, Dolomite Is My Name, Murphy told director Craig Brewer and Hall that the Coming to America gig was officially on, marking a welcome screen comeback for Hall. There's a chemistry between Eddie and Arsenio that is unparalleled, Brewer says. And I didn't know I missed Arsenio, until I started seeing Arsenio again on my screen. And what a return. Continuing the tradition of multiple characters, Hall plays Semi while also disappearing into roles as Barbara Morris, the flamboyant Reverend Brown and a new character, ancient shaman Baba. Murphy had eyed the Baba part but dropped out when he found the role required six hours in the makeup chair and painful contact lenses. On the Atlanta set, Murphy playfully taunted Hall, saying he was going home to chill out at 10 p.m. before Hall's night shoot had even begun. Eddie says, are you crying? Hall recalls. I said, no that's the contacts and my allergies. He's like, no, you're crying because you've been sitting here for six hours. Call me tomorrow. And he leaves. But bringing the scene-stealing, impish character to life was worth it, despite the layers of nasty prosthetics. I love seeing it now, Hall says. But doing it was challenging. And that stuff never comes off. You wake up in the morning and there's little brown glue boogers behind your ear and stuff on the pillow.